Hi guys, it's me Spastic, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a VS Code extension using Python. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the requirements. You will need to have Python 3.8 or above installed, and you also need to have Node.js installed. We'll not be writing any JavaScript in this video, but uh, you will need to have Node.js installed so that we can uh, build our extension. And you should also be aware of basic async await syntax in Python. And I'll also leave the link to install Node.js in the description below. And I'll also leave links to everything that I mentioned in this video. So make sure to check the description. In order to create VS Code extensions written in Python, we will need to use this library called VS Code.py. Now I wrote this library because uh, there was no way to create um, VS Code extensions in Python before. You had to just use a JavaScript or TypeScript. But now using this library, you'll be able to do it with Python. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll open this GitHub repo and we'll copy this command that is the installation command. And we will go to our uh, command prompt and we'll paste it. This will basically install VS Code.py for us. Now I already have it installed, but it will install it for you. Once you have it installed, we can begin. So let's create our extension.py file. This is where we'll write our code. So the first thing that we do is we import VS Code. And uh, we also import from VS Code, we'll import info message. So right now we'll be basically creating our hello world extension. So we'll need to display hello world somewhere. So we'll display this using this info message. Now we need to create our extension first. So extension is VS Code dot extension. And we need to give it a name. So for now, let's call it my extension. Um, so let's now create our hello world command. Um, we'll basically create an async function, which will, let's, let's call it hello world. And it needs one parameter that is CTX. This is basically a context object, a VS code or context. And using this object, you'll be basically able to interact with the VS code API. So what we'll do is simply create our message. So let's say our message is hello world. Now we need to wrap it inside this. So hello world. In order to ensure that uh, our extension is sending this hello world, let's say hello world from and our extension name. I'll create an F string and then I'll say extension dot name. You can use extension dot display name because the thing is when you enter this name, um, this is stored as a display name basically. And inside the name, uh, the name uh, removes all the spaces. So it will replace the space with a hyphen and it lower cases everything. So this is actually the name. But um, if you want the display name, just do this and use uh, extension dot display name. All right, uh, we'll basically have this and let's show this message. Once we have this, so what we'll do is we'll do await ctx dot window dot show and we show this message. So what this will do is basically show this uh, info message. Now this function isn't really a command yet. So in order to make it a command, what we do is we add a decorator above it. That is at the rate extension dot command. This basically tells the extension that uh, this function right here is a command. And um, you can also specify its name explicitly right here. So we can do hello world like this. If you want to change the name, let's say hello world two. So this will actually be shown to the user. Um, this is internally used, um, but um, what you can do is completely ignore this name. We can completely remove the name because uh, the library will read this hello world and it will create that by itself. So if you want to have a separate name, that is uh, you don't want your function name to be used as the command name, you can specify the name, but for now we'll leave it as it is. And finally, we need to run our extension. All right, so this is the basic code for creating a hello world extension. Let's uh, run it and see if it works. So when you first run this, uh, it will create, it will build this extension. What I mean by build this extension is that it will create these files. These files are required for this extension to run. Okay, without these files, the extension won't run. So once it has built these files, we can actually run it. Now I'll explain what each of these files are a little later. And I'll also explain how this library works internally a little bit later. So let's run this extension now. In order to run it, we'll need to press F5, all right? When we press F5, it will create a new extension window. I mean, it creates a new VS Code window with the extension loaded in. So now what we can do is test our command. In order to test the command, we will press Control P. What this does is it opens our command palette. And inside of this, what we can do is um, do this arrow and this will open up all the commands that we have. And let's do hello world. Now we have our command, as you can see, when we run it, we will get, um, yep, right here. Hello world from my extension. Now it took a little bit of time to start first because it was getting activated. But once it gets activated, it will, uh, let's say if I do it again, um, hello world, there you go. It loads up immediately. So, um, yep, that's it. So let's test it again. And there you go. We get hello world from my extension. And that's pretty much it. Um, let's close this now. We can Once you're done with it, you can close this. So let me now explain how this library works internally. 
Well, what happens is um, it creates, first it builds these files and um, I'll give you an overview of what these files are. Uh, we have our node modules. This is basically um, all the requirements in the JavaScript requirements. It also creates a virtual environment because uh, it will keep the packages separate. And as you can see, um, we also, the most important part of it is this extension.js. So as you know, uh, you mostly write uh, extensions with the uh, JavaScript. So what this uh, library does is it creates this extension.js, which is the same for any extension written using VS Code.py. So this is the same, uh, but what changes is this thing communicates with the Python file. So let's say that a user runs this command. Let's say they run the hello world command. What happens is extension.js receives this. It will then forward this, uh, it will forward this event or this command to the Python file. And inside here, the extension will figure out that um, a command has been run and this needs to be called. So when this function is called, what happens is we create, we do what we want to do. For now, what we do is we create our message, info message, and then we show this. So when we want to show this, what happens is the Python file then communicates this uh, to the JavaScript file and the JavaScript file then ends up showing it. So in case you are familiar with um, writing the VS Code uh, extensions in JavaScript, you will know that what we do in JavaScript is VS Code dot um, window dot show information message. All right, uh, so it kind of does this in the background. You don't have to do it yourself. The Python code will do that. And you don't need to edit any of this extension JS. You can edit this package.json. This has all the metadata about your extension, but it's better to use uh, extension metadata, which is available in VS Code. There is an extension metadata class here. You can specify everything that you want right here instead of doing it here. Or you could do either. It's your choice completely. And I'll talk more about it in future videos. But that's about it. You can edit the package.json if you want to directly. And you can also look at, and you can also change requirements if you want. That is, if you want to add, if you want to use some other library, let's say you want to make some requests, so you can do requests. But uh, by the way, don't use requests because this is async, so it's better to use AIO HTTP. In case you do want to use AIO HTTP, uh, I have a video on how to use it in the, you can see it in the cards, I guess, right now. But uh, yeah, that's it. So you can have more requirements as well. That's pretty much it for this basic video. This was basically how to get started with creating VS Code uh, extensions in Python. I'll, I'll showcase more of the complex stuff that you can do with this library, like web views and uh, input boxes, quick input editor, workspace, etc. I'll showcase them in the future videos in this series. So if you do like this uh, video, hit the like button. Once we hit 50 likes, I'll upload the next um, next part, next video in this series. In case you don't want to wait, what you can do is uh, go to this uh, GitHub repo right here. And uh, the link will be in the description below. Just go here, go to the examples and take a look at these examples. These examples are quite great. And you can also take a look at the docs. The docs aren't completely done yet, but they'll soon be done. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.